as we pick up where we left off at, it was around about 3 a.m. The 1st Infantry Division has been drawn into the fighting east into the downtown area on the Kansas City, Missouri side on the 5th of October. The 72nd Group Army, the 103rd Logistics of the Russians, the Brigade, and the 40th Group Army, 119th Motor Rifle Brigade, which was the Trojan Force, has surrounded and encircled the American forces in the downtown area. The, the whole of the 1st Infantry Division, including all of its subordinate units, the civilian and local LEO militias forces, and the 70th Troop Command and its tiny force that's left after being badly mauled by the Chai Com and Russian aggressor forces. In the center of the state, the advance continued and by about 5 a.m. reached the middle center of the state. Further to the south, after heavy fighting by about that time, the Missouri National Guard units badly mauled as well by the two days of fighting and the civilian and local LEO formations decide to make a break for it thinking that they're going to head to the northeast only to run into tons and tons miles of civilian refugees fleeing the advancing 81st group army and the attached Russian units head in that headed their direction further to the east the 71st group army heads to the southwest while the 107th rocket brigade of the russians and the 4th tank division of the russians head to the southeast down i-55 and out of the battle space the chai comms completely now control the entire center east and southeast of the state and the north as well which the chai Com people's armed police units are rapidly driving in to do clearing operations of their own. All that's really left now, by the end of the 5th, are the American units battling hard for survival, encircled in the middle of Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. Once the Missouri National Guard and militia forces see what's going on and all the trains 